Hello folks, Josh Darvel, nonperishablemarketing.com, building some websites, um, and every time I run into a problem, as I'm a self-taught website designer, I like to also show other folks how to do some of the things I've done, because, uh, you know, the community has really helped me out in learning things, but um, actually, this guy right here, his plugins are amazing, awesome, Cody.com, if you want to monetize your websites a little bit better, here's the plug. Cody.com. Uh, this stuff is great. It's got an automatic redirector, tracking, all sorts of stuff that you just got to use. Anyway, um, so I've been working on a website for a company that sells alcohol. Um, they sell rum and tequila and stuff like that. They needed a age verification form on the front of their website. So I found a plugin. Uh, links into the description. It was very difficult to find because uh, this isn't a plugin that you can get through the the normal plugins field. Um, and basically, it works like this. Uh, you know, if you if you aren't old enough, then you hit click here, and it says you're not old enough. If you come down here and you were to say that yes, you were old enough then it takes you to the website obviously right um, so what you do is you need to go to installed plugins once you install the plugin you'll see right here it's got the age verification settings you can say that you need to be 13 18 you know whatever 21 um, in order to verify so you actually control that and it's to use a calendar uh, on the back end but that's all the options you get so in order to put a, uh, a background image in there and make it look pretty you need to come in here to the editor um, at which point you know people like me tend to get a little lost so you see you got here table height equals 427 pixels by width equals 900 and then it has background equals and it's got quotes well what I did was I made a funky little uh, image and I'm gonna put it in between those quotes hit update come back here let's check it out what do we got ah so we got a big warning <laughs> and uh, you need to verify your age well I want this whole image centered on my website and I also want this thing to be more into this location not not smack dab in the middle so let's go back to our editor and we'll take a look at this what do we got here we got um let's see we got our table and we need to put in um, a little bit of code in order to help this thing out here so let's say we want to do before the table um, the code in order to be dropped in has got to be div align equals quote center quote and then um, you have your brackets obviously so that's part one now what we need to do is we need to uh, we actually have to this code right here div style equals quote margin colon 70 px well 70 is is you gotta play with these numbers okay you play with those numbers 70 and 15 and uh... you can start moving the the actual plugin itself so you see how i pushed it in a little bit and pushed it down well let's go back here that's obviously not down far enough so um... So where are we at? You think it's hard to teach this stuff? <laughs> it's just as hard to uh, do it. So let's say that we want to drop it 180 picks okay so hit update 180 we're at the same exact spot um, let's see if that works a little bit better so that's starting to push it down that's good 
Let's come back here and let's say we're going to push it down. Um, 200. Now notice that the size of the image the size of the image is 427. I'm only pushing it down 200. I'm not sure why that's why that's actually working or not. Or so but it it's working. You know, you're pushing it down, you're pushing it down. So um and if you wanted to you know, move it a little bit more say 230 and then it's 15 pixels in let's let's push it in another you know 5 pixels okay come back here check it out so we pushed it in a little bit more obviously I'm gonna wanna redo this image um, so that way my text isn't quite so I don't know what you want to say, being covered up or being lost in the graphic. But um, what we've been able to do is by manipulating the code just a bit, um, we have in fact made it so it, it now actually looks somewhat decent. So again, the way to do it is right where it says table, table height, you need to put in that code right there. And then um, right where it says body, you're going to need to put in that code right there. And then you can mess with the, uh, the margins here. Okay?